I can't think of a better way to honor our brave veterans than by turning their horror into a video game. Listen up, youngsters. We have received intelligence that the Krauts are due to invade the beloved French township of Ville de saint Capitolons. I don't need to tell you that this town provides the snails that feed the entire French resistance. If saint Capitolons falls, the resistance will be so hungry for snails, they'll turn around and fight for the bad guys. Oh, I've seen it happen before. You will parachute out of a UB-40 red wine flying fortress over saint Capitolons, where you'll have to locate me and Private First Class Burns for further instructions. Now, good luck. You boys are my favorite privates, and you know how much I love my privates. My privates mean everything to me. Please, God, don't let anything happen to my privates. I can't look. I'm scared of heights. Tell me when we're about to land. You can look now. We are, uh, how you say, finished. Oui, monsieur. May I have another? Ah! Oh, look at me. I'm French. I'm a scared girl. I don't like being bombed and attacked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, knock it off. We're here to protect these cheese-eating surrender monkeys. That means taking down these white flags before they have a chance to kiss German butt. Yes, yes Sergeant, Sergeant Simpson. Simpson. You know, Sarge, while your time-traveling son and grandson take down the flags, we could remove the priceless paintings from the village before the Germans get here. You know, for safekeeping. You look and sound so evil. But since you're American, I know that's not possible. We'll get the paintings. You two take care of the flags. What war is this? Don't they teach you anything in school? It's the Civil War, duh. Let's go secure those paintings. No, oh, I'll secure them all the way to the Swiss bank. I mean, golly, that sounds like a keen idea, Daddy-o. I remember my first surrender. It was with an older girl from school. We surrendered over and over until I got it right. <laughs> ah! I know it's a cliche, but I love berets. Nice work, video game guy. I think I caught a glimpse of Bridget Bardu whooshing past me on a train once. True story. Why do all of our words have to be either a guy or a girl? I just don't get it. Marie Antoinette may have been a spoiled brat, but you cannot argue with her position on cake. No! Yoink! Now. All these Americans show up, and not one of them is Jerry Lewis. Everyone else gets up to the morning bells. What's Clara Jacques' problem? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
are surrendering our country, not our style. Try to look your best. Surrender just as well as a man. I was kicked out of land school because I didn't know apparently you can't talk. I mean, what's that all about? <laughs> Of Paris to surrender. Yep. 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 Ooh, is this brush cut? After you're done pummeling us, could I have a cigarette? Jean Paul Sartre cornered me at the party. He started talking about this place of nothing left. Oh, this reminds me. 
reminds me of a simpler time. Takes care of Margie's birthday. History of great lovers, none is greater or more celebrated than Pepe Le Pew. John Wayne. Stupid cowardly flag. I see a do rag in my future. Yeah. 
Pretty boring freak flag. a village to raise a child to surrender. What can I say? I'm a runner, not a fighter. Blame on. Yeah. Oh. Typical 
the metal from the rudeness. Sweet! I sure stocked up on flags. Hot damn if you didn't stop those surrender monkeys from surrendering. I was sure you were both gonna be shipped home in pine boxes. I was already making up nice things to say about you. But now you're off to Africa. Private Burns has secured some priceless French paintings of high-class naked bazooms. We're taking the paintings to a secure storage depot outside Jabba El Hut, Algeria. I'll be riding shotgun with Burns personally on this one. I suspect we'll need the help as the canyons near Jabba are heavily fortified by the enemy. I know what you're thinking. 
This sounds like an escort mission. Well, deal with it! Nice work, video game guy. How do we suddenly end up in Africa? Well, this sort of thing happens to me all the time in that run. It's best just to pretend everything's fine. Sergeant, the correct way to proceed in this sort of situation is to run away. Private, we may be outmanned and undersupplied. If you go to war with the army you've got. No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. You go to war with the army you've bought. Courage, you're gonna have to learn. You can't just go through life solving all your problems with money. No. They were hummingbirds! Solving all your problems with money.
Treasures are safe. Now I can sell them and buy a really nice car. I, I mean, put them in a museum. Listen up, my beloved private. We had a traitor in our midst. Private Burns has nicked all the French paintings with all those luscious naked sweater melons. So listen up. Burns has moved the paintings to his own private aircraft carrier, the USS Real Crazy. He has the damn thing heavily guarded by his own private cadre of muscular sailors. These men fight for neither God nor country. They fight for love. I'll be leading a sortie of hellfish warplanes and we'll be providing heat from the air. You'll need to stow yourselves aboard the ship at dock. Once out to sea, disable the ship's defenses while we attack from above. Homer, you'll be on demolition duty, and you'll have just enough C4 explosives to complete your objectives. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? You're never gonna run out of explosives. If you ran out, you'd never finish the damn thing. Any more questions? I don't care. Over and out. Now you have to kiss me! Eat that, you treacherous double-crossing Nancy boy! Hey, where's Grandpa? I'm sure he's up saving the world or taking a leap. Palmer, you need to plant all the C4. Yep. Finally. Three. Let's do this. C4 is successfully planted, and I still have all four fingers and toes. <laughs> Blame on. This war is so much like Play Doh. I wonder if it's edible.
Kagan!
hundreds. Mussolini! My turn! Mustache tickles. As mayor of this village, I would like to thank you, brave American soldiers. You hid our cowardice and brought back the pride of our village, our paintings. Dad, can I have some wine? The other kids are doing it. Sorry, boy. You're an American kid. You have to get your booze from an older creep hanging around outside the liquor store. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> 